Hello, my name is Dragos and I am the owner of the site QPDAS.com. In this video I will like to show you how you can serve images in next-gen format using WordPress. I already written on detailed articles about, uh, about this. You can check it on my site. In this video we'll go into more details of, on the steps that you need to do to have this next-gen format used on your WordPress site. First, let's start with, with uh, a short introduction about what exactly are these next-gen images. I have here an article from google.com. So basically, these next-gen formats are images that are more compressed than than old JPEG and PNG formats. They are offering the same quality but using less space on your server and uh, by using less space and image is being smaller it will help the site to load faster. In short this is what these uh, next-gen formats are. There are some extensions that are used for these engine formats. This right here are the extensions. The most known format is WebP. So in this format it will make the JPEG images with up to 34% smaller and uh, it will make the PNG images up to three times smaller. So these are some interesting new, new formats that will help help your your site. Next let's talk about why would you use these next gen images? For this if it's not already clear it will provide better site performance so if the images has a smaller size it means that it will use less less space and less bandwidth on on your on on your server when a an, an client will come and access a page on your site let's say it has 10 Im images and all of them uses 10 megabytes if you serve these Im images in this engine next gen format it will it will reduce the space with 3.5 megabytes so it will load less amount of data resulting in the faster load the second use is the bandwidth save if you have a big site that it using that's having a lot of sessions a lot of visits every day let's say you have a site that it as one million visitor a day with this uh, with these images you can you can save up to 3000 gigabytes of data which is quite a lot and even more and uh, the other the other aspect is that Google started to include these images into the performance audits when you go to web.dev it will uh, it will check your uh, your images and see if they are loaded in and next gen formats if you go and test my site you'll see for instance i have a site that i can test it that doesn't use this let's let's see this site it's one of my sites about technology if we put it here in the in the test and run the audit you will see that it's not using the this new format and uh, here our recommendation will be to to start using this let's wait for a couple of seconds so let's see where it is here it is
it looks like it doesn't really show his, this here. Let's see the view report. Strange is not is not explaining the, this, but it should as my site is not using any any next gen formats. But anyway, let's move next to this. Basically, it should show something like this. So we imagine the next gen format, and it will have the site to load faster with this amount. This test was also done on the site. Uh, does.net I don't know why Google doesn't uh, doesn't see that images are in are not in this format so when you plan to use these engine images next gen images into your your WordPress site there will be some challenges one of the challenge is the fact that your browser May not support this uh, these formats right now. Chrome it's fully supporting this, but uh, Safari on older Firefox versions doesn't support this. So you will need the you will need the, for the, the plugin to be able to see what kind of browser it is or applications. And in case he is not able to to serve this these images serve the the old or the old format all of these plugins that i am recommending here does this so you so you don't need to worry the the other challenge is that uh, this plugin can can cost money some of them are free and others are not so in function of your budget and uh, the needs you have, you can either use these next gen formats or you decide to not use them. So next, let's let's move to the to the part where we see how we can use these uh, next gen images in our WordPress sites. So first, you can you can use a self-hosted WP convert plugin. This plugin it's WebP or WebP Express. This plugin it is uh, free, is not doesn't cost any money, and it will utilize your uh, your servers to to sh to convert the images to this uh, format and uh, serve them. It will automatically detect if your browser is compatible with these formats. If not, it will serve the, the old versions. To be able to use this plugin, you will need to to have some packages installed on your servers. This is not uh, something that all of the web hosting has. For instance, I have uh, my sites hosted on DigitalOcean with uh, VirtualMin and my uh, And uh, I, I am able to install what package I want. So, in in the settings of the plugin, you will see here that uh, I have the GD extensions that allows me to to optimize these images. So, the the plugin configuration it is looking like this. You just need to to com configure the plugin in here, and then you can will convert the the images or if you if you decide to not use this to delete the converted files you'll make you'll need to make some settings in function of the of the web server that we are using i am using nginx and for this you will need to make some extra configurations all of these configurations that needs to be done can be found on on the WP Express site, so this is a very good, good plugin and it is free. If um, we check my my server, this is where I have my my server hosted. If we see the the path here, I am in the 
the UP content folder and if we list the images here we will see that uh, sorry you will see here that the the images are converted automatically to this WP WP format and uh, if you will see here for instance this image it is using uh, 18k in the in the PNG format and uh, with this new format it is using 5k so it's it's three times more than three, three times lower than than the initial initial image in the in the browser if we go to to my site and check one of the plug one of the images sorry like this one with inspect elements we'll see that in in here the the extension should show the webp format just a second to save it I see that is not using this. Let me let me try and use another images. Maybe the cache was not clear for this one. Let's go to the home page and hit inspect element here. Okay, as you can see here, you have the WebP format for this image. Image, if you if you click on it, you have save type as web profile here. With this plugin, there are some images that the the plugin can convert, but uh, this uh, percent is it's very small. Maybe that's why that image was not converted when I when I wanted to, to save it. Let's take, check again just to, to be sure. Yeah, you can see here for instance that this image had no problem being converted using this extension, the WebP one. So in big this is about this WebP Express plugin. There are other plugins that that you can use but they are they are costing uh, money they have also some free options next we'll talk about other third party conversion plugin that can convert your Im images into this webp format it will not ut utilize your server you don't need to have anything installed on your server it will use the his own server but it will cost money one of this image converter is this AWW Image Optimized Cloud. This is a well-known plugin that will also also uh, also convert your your traditional format images into smaller size. So it will not only serve uh, serve uh, WebP images. So it will to help you in in other browsers that is, are not supporting this kind of uh, images this uh, this plugin if we check it has some paid plans from which you can choose if you decide to to use this let me let me enter here and check them So here are the plans. To use these web images you need to, to go with the second plan. You just need to pay this amount of, of money for for an image. It's not is not really expensive. 
there are other plugins that does the same job, like Short Pixel. This is uh, a very interesting plugin with a very nice interface, configuration interface. I am using it on one of my sites. I will show you what it can it can do. This plugin it is offering some some multi plans. For instance, like like this one. If you have a small site, you can choose this this plan. It, it will optimize 100 images for you a month. So this plugin it will convert your images on the servers like the the WebPA Express plugin does. Yeah, and uh, it will also use a CDN to to serve the plugins. From what I've seen in in my site, I will show you afterwards. So. You have these multi plans that you can choose from in function of your your site uh, size. There is uh, there is one time plans that you can buy. For instance, if you if you have a couple of sites and you have under ten thousand images, you can you can buy a package, install this plugin, and run this, and it will convert your image images to this to these formats. If we go to this to this site that I have here, I'm ar using already this plugin. This is a small site. It has only a couple of articles. I just wanted to test this. If you if you go with with inspect element, you'll see here that the images are uh, are served uh, into this format. Here it, they have the WebP extension. The, the, there is also a CDN here that it is used, so it looks like this plugin it is using uh, a CDN, but I, I'm not really 100% sure as I didn't see anything in the plugin, plugin space, plugin page about this. So if we go into the dashboard, let's see here where I have the dashboard for this okay here it is short pixel you have an API key that you will will use you have some configurations to do here you here you choose the compression levels if you go to advanced advanced options in this area you can you can configure your plugin like this to to create the web version the image is for free so if you make these configurations it will save locally your your images into your server you can save up to 100 images a month with this free plan and the plugin will use your your servers to to load everything for me it's working perfectly perfectly with bidas.org so you can integrate this with the cloud cloud cloudflare for the cdn if you if you want you have some statistics here with what it did till now some resources and so on you can you can check some online tutorials if you need more details about about this next next thing about serving this WebP format, it's the completely automated tools. For this, the the best plugin that you can use is Optimo. This is a wonderful plugin that will handle everything for you. It will handle conversion of the of the images to the right format. It will use CDNs to load the images. It is very fast. It, it does a very good job. It will convert a, every image to to a to a responsible format if you it is if it's not already already converted. So everything is done automatically. This is a, an an impressive plugin to have, but uh, it is using. Uh, it is using some uh, <clears throat> some plans that uh, that are in function of the 
the size that you you want to uh, you want to, to compress for for the free plan you have one gigabyte of images that they will compress and the bandwidth of uh, five gigabytes for instance I've activated this on my pp.com site and in one week this was extinct extincted so this will only work if you have some some small sites if you if you want to to use this you can go to to upper upper plans that are cost money and uh, offer more more bandwidth you have here here some options like yearly that are cheaper so you can you can choose from them it's working in the in the same way same way as uh, short pixel but it does more more stuff i have this plugin installed on my site maybe we can we can take a look sh for a short while and see what it does first let's go to the main site and if you check my main page you will see that the images from here are not quite as good uh, fit as it can be if we go for instance to to the dashboard and we we activate this uh, this plugin the optimal one let's see what is happening because it will it will make the images look better at least this is what i have seen let's Let's activate the initial plugin that I am having. Let's see where it is. Okay, let's activate this. Because right now I'm using the WebP Express plugin. I don't really need to pay any money for for this as my site it's loading quite fast with the configurations that I have. Let's activate this uh, optimal plugin. And see what it has to to offer okay now it's active let's go into settings and see if it is here let me see where it is it's not here okay the plugin settings are under media optimal if we'll go here the the, the plugin will need an API key to be used and uh, in here you will see the the monte cota and the stats and the images that are transformed if you go to general settings here there's option to enable image replacement admin bar setup javascript replacement compression level to choose it here it's automatic it has a, also an watermark options so you can add an, your logo into your images so no one can can copy them i personally never never tried this but this is very nice feature of this plugin and it will help a lot because it's doing this this automatically next let's see if uh, something happened with my site after I activated this I I haven't used this after I used that plugin but as you can see here the plugin changed the format to the right one so this is done by the by the optimal automatically and the images right now are looking more nicer because it's, com it's fitting completely here if you, we check here the the inspect element to see what is happening behind the scene you will see that the the image should serve the 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 information from the from the CDN from the op optimal CDN and uh, 
it should be in the next gen format if the browser supports it if not it will use a compressed version of the of the image right now um, let's go and see this the plugin is has been just activated so it may need some time to to compress your images also i am uh, almost gone with my monthly free quota so this is what this plugin does it does everything automatically for you it will not use your server it will not uh, it will not uh, load it with anything So the other other plugin that you can use is this one, Imagify. It is doing the same stuff of the short pixel. It will it will convert your your images on the server, on and serve them serve them there. In the free plan, you have uh, 25 megabytes, which it is a it's quite low. So not a lot of room for for the demo the other plugin that also applies here it's short pixel one it is doing everything automatically same as in, in imagify so i already shown you what short pixel can do in the end uh, let's let's go to the conclusion conclusions so from my point of view these images, these new gen format images are a good thing to have on your site. It doesn't cost a lot to, to have them. You can even have them for free. If you are not willing to pay a lot of money, you can, you can either use the WebP Express or you can buy a short pixel package and uh, with Ten dollars, you can you can convert up to ten thousand images, which is not a decent amount of of, of of images for a good price. My recommendation is to use the opt optimal plugin if you have the budget for this, because it is using a CDN and it also using the right format for your images out of the box you don't need to do anything so it is a great plugin that uh, that is offering a lot of good features for features for you so about the n next gen format and uh, and wordpress and plugins this is about it. If you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe. If you also have any questions, please drop a comment on my site or on my on my video. Thanks for for watching this this video.